At the top of the world in a place called the Arctic, nature is at its most extreme. For half of the year, when the northern half of Earth is tilted away from the sun, the Arctic seas are filled with vast packs of ice. In the depths of winter, the sun barely rises at all, and the entire surface is a thick frozen sheet. In this realm of cold and dark, you wouldn't expect to find much life. But guess what? The Arctic seas are full of animals, and many of them are warm-blooded mammals, like these seals. Why would a warm-blooded mammal want to live in this gigantic outdoor icebox? The answer is food. Just like your refrigerator, the Arctic is jammed with things to eat. Tiny plants called phytoplankton thrive here, along with algae, hanging from the ice in big swoopy drapes. A relative of shrimp, known as krill, eat the plants. They're the next level in the Arctic food chain and multiply by the billions. They spend much of the year in deep water, but in the summer, they rise to the surface waters where the phytoplankton is more abundant. This strategy is clever, but it's also risky. The small creatures are eaten by drifters like jellyfish, which catch them in their venomous tentacles. The comb jelly is a hunter too, filtering the water for minute life forms. But when it comes to eating krill, nobody comes close to the big marine mammals like the bowhead whale. The bowhead captures krill by the ton using a strainer in its mouth called baleen. A bowhead's baleen can grow up to 15 feet long, the longest of any baleen whale. The nutrients in the water also feed clams that live in the soft bottom. Their shells protect them from just about everything, except walruses. Walruses are relatives of seals and sea lions. They use their whiskery mouths to suck up clam shells, split them open, and eat the tasty clams inside. Huge numbers of fish also gather here, like the Arctic cod. Living so close to the ice could freeze most fish, but polar residents have special chemicals in their blood and other body fluids that prevent them from freezing. In other words, they have antifreeze in their veins. Schooling in large numbers, the fish attract lots of attention from predators including mammals. One of these is the narwhal, a mysterious whale that inspired the legend of the unicorn. Male narwhals have long spiky tusks, like big toothpicks on the end of their noses. You might think that narwhals use their tusks to shish kebab cod, but the tusks are probably just for display. Swimming in close groups, narwhals make sure that nobody gets skewered by accident. Now we know why mammals live in these icy waters, but the next question is, how do they do it? Seals have dense fur coats that provide lots of insulation against cold air, but water can strip away body heat 20 times faster than air. So to keep cozy in the water, seals and their walrus cousins are outfitted with a deluxe insulation of blubber. Besides blubber, whales like the narwhal and the bowhead have another way of trapping heat. As their blood circulates from their cold outer skin, special veins warm it up so it won't cool down their internal organs. Cold isn't the only challenge for mammals. They also need to breathe air. That means coming to the surface, which isn't easy when the sea is covered with ice. Bowhead whales have special talents for finding pathways or leads through the ice. Scientists think they use sound Calling and listening for certain kinds of echoes keeps them from getting trapped under the ice. And if they do get trapped, they can punch their way to the surface with their big, bowed head. Seals can't ram their way through the ice, but they are very good at carving holes in it. And what's even more impressive, they can remember where to find each and every hole they've made. And that's a very important skill. So even though they don't have antifreeze in their veins, marine mammals survive in the Arctic by using a combination of blubber and brains. And that's pretty hot.